In this video, you'll learn how to create an array list using XAML code and how to bind a DX charts control to it. I'll start with a WPF application with a new DX chart control added onto it. I switch to the XAML editor. Here, I'm going to create an array list. First, I'll add a reference to the system.collections namespace. I need this to be able to declare and use array lists in XAML. Next, I'll create a windows.resource element. Here, I'll specify a new local resource dictionary. I create a new array list. Let's give it a key name so we can identify and use this array list throughout the application. I'll manually populate the array list with multiple points. The X and Y values are set appropriately. And I'm done creating the array list. I move down to the code for my chart control. Here, I use a refactor pro feature to create an end tag for the chart control. I'll create a new chart control dot diagram and inside it specify the diagram type. For this demo, I'll use a simple XY diagram 2D. Next, I need to create a new series for the chart. I'll specify the series type to be a bar side-by-side -side series 2D. Next, I'm going to bind this series to the array list I created earlier. I'll set its data source property to use the static resource data, which is the array list data that I created in the local resource dictionary. I'll also need to specify the argument data member and the value data member properties of the series. Here I'll set the values of X within the array list to be treated as the argument and the values of Y as the value for the chart. Furthermore, I set the color each property to true so that each bar gets its unique color. And that's it. I switch to the WPF designer and you can see that the preview has been updated accordingly. I run the application to see the results at runtime. And now you can see the chart bound to an array list. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.